We're back, uh, which is a good thing, at least. Uh, yes. So we're back. Um. Um. Or doing any live stream with likes of Destiny. Uh, my friend recently um, got into Destiny, so I've just been helping him out. Um, but welcome back to the Dundee FC uh, live stream. This is the career mode, and if people uh, people who are new to the uh, live stream that I do, I do basically a career mode for Dundee FC and basically this team has been put into the Premier League so how far we'll go see how do uh, how good we do and all that stuff so um, yeah so hopefully we can get in some decent stuff alright right now I've mentioned that in that Let's have a look at the team. So at the moment in our team, we've got the likes of Matherby, Evans, Cloca, Litter, we've got Harris, Hoffman, Edwards, Etting, Crawford. Well, our custom made, like myself, Crawford, here. And we've got Clerky, who is also custom made, and Edwards, and also Harris, who's made it into the team recently. Um, at the moment, this is the team. Um, our starting goalkeeper has been injured, uh, recently got injured. Uh, he was an academy player. And we tried to sell some of these players, but some of these players would not go. So basically, I'm just waiting until they do go or their contract expires. Um, but at the moment, we're playing against, FC, uh, we're playing against Burnley. I'm going to actually play this game this time instead of actually simming some stuff because I simmed the last few games recently. Um, just because it was a bit unfair. I felt it was a bit unfair because I was legit destroying other teams. So, we're going to put this on world class. We're going to play the match and just see how far we'll get. Honestly, I think we'll probably beat... I think we'll beat West Ham. I think I'm playing again. No, we're Burnley. Fucking hell. I think we'll beat Burnley. Um, the main reason is that one I'm playing, but two Burnley is not. A sh I think at the moment because I've got my top goal goal scorer at the moment, uh, my striker. He's like, I think he was on the top goal scorers, and I think he still is at the moment. I'm not 100 sure, but his team has been absolutely solid against the Premier League recently. Uh, it's quite surprising that I've actually made it this far into the Premier League um, because it's a very it's a very young team uh, it's pretty much a young team um, so it's a bit interesting here I was thinking of bringing like a a team from the MLS a new team that recently was brought up but I wanted to go with something a bit weaker um, but let's just see like just see how this game goes uh, currently the player to watch for me at the moment is Bloom. I would say he's probably the best player by far. He's been absolutely amazing. Um, with the likes of Crawford as well, he's been absolutely superb. I think he's probably decent. That was a decent attempt. Honestly, that was pretty good. So let's carry on to see if we can get this tackle in. Well done to Edwards to get in the tackle. Uh, Clerky is actually a cam if you did not know and I'm playing him as a striker. The main reason is he seems to just finish and assist a lot more, which is very, very good. And uh, we also got Hoffman, who I actually thought, and not that long ago. So it's a bit of a bit of a, what I would say. This team is a bit of an interesting team by far. It's a, it's a team that is a bit, I think, personally, is underrated. Um, but over time, this team is only going to get better. And I am planning to do a bit of stuff off uh, off camera. But at the moment, I'm just live streaming everything. Uh, if you want me to carry on live streaming, let's let me down in the comments below, or uh, just yeah, men mention it in one of my videos and stuff. Carry on like carrying this as a live stream or as a video. I can do montages. If you want me to do montages, that's a definite yes. Um, at the moment, though, some of the goals that have been scored recently have just not been as what you call montage ist. Um, <laughs> some of the goals I normally um, 
getting is just montage, like really good goals and stuff like goals that you would not really see in a player but actually in a player before so who knows just tempting but yes so at the moment we're on the attack we're a ting uh playing out to clerky good ball there um i think the passing has been a lot better bang Oi, there we go. Crawford getting the first goal in the game. The number 10. Gave him number 10. Jesus, why not? Um, there we go. Left foot in the back of the net. Good assist by Clerky. Really good passing, by the way. I like the passing in the team. It feels a lot more stronger. A lot more better. I like that a lot. Right, so let's carry on. Let's see if we can get more goals in here. Clerky just adding adding the pressure. They just we need that pressure in the, in the team. Moment. The left back, I gotta say, he's probably one of the cheapest left backs you can get in the game. 100% would recommend trying to get him because he's really really good. We only made it halfway through the season at the moment. Uh, the transfer market has happened. Um, at the moment, we're just currently trying our best. Bloom making a lot of work here. Unfortunately, couldn't hold the ball there, but we'll still carry on playing. Go on, Bloom. Oh, he's in again. Bloody hell, unfortunate there. All right. It's on the defence. Kalerki. Just keep on the ball. Ledeer is going down to Granich in the Burnley at the moment. He's done well. Oh, there we go. Back in there. Number 25. I think that's a Ting there. Done really well to intercept. Still there on the attack though, doing really well with their passing. Edwards getting in, well done. That's a good tackle there, that's really good. Alright, doing well here. Bloom, up to Eteng. Eteng's doing well, he's got the ball. Plays it back to Edwards, nothing here, but... Oh no, that's Hoffman there. I might have been able to actually get something though if I knew that was Hoffman. Because Hoffman's got four, I think he's got three sub skills. And he's decent at, uh, he's actually very, 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 very good at dribbling. So, I need to exploit these players using as their best, well, their best stuff really. The best, what they're strongest at. Um, Alright, let's play it up. Let's keep on moving it. Done well there to get past that defender, but unfortunately, because of EA's bullshit, he got stuck behind the defender. And left the ball behind. Um, Could be dangerous. Well done to Evans there. Evans, 100% probably one of the top players I would recommend you getting in a career mode if you're doing something like this. Or even actually just if you had a big team, if, if you still have a big team, just get something like a, um, get someone like Evans because he really does hold up the play. Use five at the back. I've, I'm thinking of using five at the back just to uh, keep their defense up. But at the moment it's been really decent at defending anyway. So I doubt I would do that any, doubt I'll use five at the back. But still it's very tempting because at the moment, like the, I've got more centre backs than I do have attackers, but at the same time I do have a load of midfielders. Um, so it's a bit uh, interesting here. Because, well the thing is, if I use uh, five at the back, it causes uh, three up front. The problem is, if it's either going to be Clerky or Ting swapping around the midfield and I like a Ting as a, I like it, a Ting, uh, he's very 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 good uh, in the midfield and I think Clerky should be way way better as a striker at the moment because he's, that, he's adapted to that, he's adapted to that role, that, uh, there, right, Hoffman couldn't get past the defender there, unfortunate, got it back anyway, play it down, ah, oh, a bit of a bit of a pull pass there, a bit of a pull pass. It's keep up the pressure though. That's the main thing we need to do is keep up the pressure. And once we kept up, the, once we got the pressure there, that's sorted. All right. Well, he's got into the tackle there. All right, give him a free kick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch off him there. Still got it anyway. Bloom up. Play it down to Hoffman. Hoffman. Hoffman's now got the ball. Play up to Clarky. I think Clarky's got. He's gonna have something here. Now to Leclerc. Black back to Clarky. Didn't go to. Didn't even go to Clarky. That's kind of annoying. That. Um. Oh well. I really wanted that to go to Clarky. Good tackle from a Ting again. Solid from a Ting. I've got to say, a Ting and Edwards have been very, very strong. So I'm definitely going to try to sign these players. 
Well, I've already got Edwards, but I'm trying to sign a Ting, maybe in the coming future. Um, I don't know anything. I don't know if uh, Edwards has got a buyout clause or anything. I don't think he has. So if he has, I might have to get on that right away. Um, because at the moment, I think I gave myself a contract where I don't. I don't have a buyout clause. Uh, I really, I don't really want a buyout clause realistically uh, because I'm gonna stay in this team. This is a very good future team. Like it's done well recently. I've got to say it's done really well. So right, Crawford back in the game. Got the ball. Really pushing up the attack here. Can he get anything? Yes, he can. He get a ting down to Hoffman. Just not getting there. Just not getting there. Unfortunate. We have got Field on the bench. I will use Field if, uh, very soon. I got him on loan, I think. He's a really good player. Very young as well. I think he's only 17, so he's got. He might have a good future ahead of him. So, right. Apparently, this is an offside. Carry on though. The one thing I like about this team is the pace. The pace on these players have been fantastic. Um, they seem to really make a big effect. Clerk, he couldn't get, the pass, get past the ball there. Uh, get past the defender. I was going to pull back and maybe have a cracker with his left foot or right foot. He has actually got five-star weak foot, so I might just uh, exploit that and just see if I can maybe use that for what five-star weak foot. Um, at, because at the moment, the one person that's used his weak foot is Crawford, and he's got us a goal. So it's a bit interesting here. Just play it down here. Take it down to Evans, down to uh, Littier, and then we've got Itting. A lot of Littier, Itting, like, what is this? Oh well. <laughs> I'm going to try, try, I'm going to try my best to at least get these players, and even get players on loan. Um, I am thinking of getting Doiberg, and he's a mid, he's a striker, who uh, is in the Netherlands league. He's playing for, I think, Ajax, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Ajax. Um, now, this is an interesting I can't remember what it's called. I think it is though. Well, it uh, he's a quality striker. He's, like I think his rating's like 78 for like a. Uh, I think it's like 18, 19, something about there. He's got a good potential on him, so I really want to get him signed or something. Um, playing it nicely here, down to Clerky. Clerky loses the ball again in an important position there. That's really bad. Need to try and maybe work on that in this training or something. Um, let's keep on going though. Just keep on the pressure. They've kicked out of the box, so that's really good pressure. I really like how they. I've got still got a chance of still got a chance of make a change or make a difference. Down to Clerky again. Get past the defender. Clerky is back in there. He's got a goal. That's why I put him in the striker. Look at that. Brilliant. What's that? I've got to say, actually, what play from Clerky and also Bloom. I think that's, that was a very good pass and that was a very good movement. You get past that defender there. Look at that. Bang. Tries in for a slide tackle. Gone. Finish. Uh, not the ting. They're saying let's take off a ting uh, for um, field because a ting is a bit knackered there. Um... I'm tempted to put in Harrison for Crawford just for a bit, not much, just for a bit of a game. Um, maybe he might just get a few goals in or something. He's very, like these players are like young, so you got get them upgraded, get them uh, that overall upgrade as much as they can, so they can be really good football players in the future. Um, let's carry on. Just applying that pressure. Applying the pressure. Field. Alright. Uh, let's take off the centre back for McKinn just to keep up the stamina for the uh, back four. Um, I think Clerk is now like 30. Well, I don't know how old he is, but I think he's, I thought he was 30 the other day, but I'm not 100% sure. He might be like 29 or something. Or 20. I'm not sure. So you have a look at that. But good play at the moment. Back to Clerky. Clerky finesses it straight at the keeper. Unfortunate there. Could have done a bit more. Be a bit more effective with the uh, with that attempt. Word on to McKinnon's almost intercepting that. Thing is, for me at the moment, uh, with the likes of some players, I did actually keep McKinnon's just because he is a bit of a backup 
He's a backup at the moment. He's a bit of a backup player. So, yeah. Let's keep on passing this. Doing really well passing, passing around. Alright, doing nice. We're doing nice. Good pass there. Down to Crawford. Go on pass one. Go on pass two. Oi, I just couldn't get that last ball in there. I, couldn't, I did try actually pass that, but unfortunately I couldn't uh, make that pass in time. Well done to Harris intercepting that. I've got to say he's done really well recently as a right back. He's actually a centre... If you did not know, he's actually a centre back playing at right back. I did the actual... I did actually the same thing with another player who is now on the bench. Right, so missing the mark. Apparently Granic, he actually is, if, um, if not known, he's, I think he's like the Liga Cumbaya or something. It's another league. Uh, in, I think it's in France or something. And uh, he's, I think he's been moving to Burnley, I think, in this uh, ultimate universe. So... Right, Latez is keeping the ball, playing it up. Don't know why I'm so far up top. I really need to push back a bit more. Just to be a bit defensive, a bit attackive at the same time though. Well done to Bloom here getting past that defender. Playing it up to Hoffman. Just hold on. Gets pushed off the ball, come on ref. Bastard. Oh well. Keep the ball anyway, keep it nice. Just keep it. A bit of an awkward pass there, but Ed Edwards has done fine. Good pass there, that's nice. That's nice. Play him up. Got He's through. Does one. Ah, oh, couldn't get that Break last away. one there. Just couldn't happens. get that defender out of the way. Unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I really thought I could have made a difference there. But by the time, I bet you, by the time these players are like, reached the rating of like 8 3, 8 4. And then we can make a real big difference because they're only going to get better. That's the thing with this team. These players are only going to get better, except for maybe Bloom or something, as they're like 27. I think in the end, Bloom should at least. Oh, look at that! Oh, unfortunate for Bloom there. That would have been an absolute world class, world class to finish then. With the likes of Bloom, I think he's he's 26, 27. So he's at his peak. Realistically, he should be at his peak. But I think he could be a bit better. I think by the end of the season he would reach the rating of at least 75 or 74. Um, because if it was actually real life, I think he would probably get a bigger rating than he is currently at the moment. I think all these players would actually. Um, I think all these players would get a bit bigger rating than they are currently getting at the moment. I put this left back on. A bit of a... don't really need to do that, but why not? Just to get him like the last few seconds or something done well there still on the attack that's what I like to see stay on the attack nice and nice but Clerky had to fucking miss that alright oh well we won that game 2-0 against Burnley Burnley are a very strong team by the way if you did not know they are a solid team I honestly do rate Burnley they are a decent team let's just have a look at this goal again like this was actually really good passing lovely pass there left foot hit the post went in perfect then we've got the other goal, which I honestly do rate as, as well. Look at that. Pass the defender. Gone past him. Bang. Bottom corner. One thing I like about Clerky, he's almost taken that Dali... He's almost done that Dali Alley type of thing that I like about. Uh, he's almost kind of... Uh, because Dali, Al Dali Alley also started as a cam, but then he, or, then he uh, changed to a left striker for a couple of uh, games and stuff. So, right, let's just upgrade these players. I realise that Clerky isn't actually up there, but I like. I got Phillips, who's alright. I think he's like 20 years of age. He's 68 rating. Hold on, let me have a look actually at some of the players here. Um, Alright, let's have a look, have a look, have a look, because I've kind of forgotten everything about them. So we've got Owen Harris, he's 73 rating, he's 19, he's 19 years of age, so that's a decent rating, I accept that. Okay, Clark is actually 26, I actually don't mind that. He's has, he has made, his, he's got, his overall has actually gone up, which is actually good. If he keeps on going up, by the end of the season, I'd say about 
73 rating uh, overall, I would think around there. Um, Owen House, I would think probably a bit more as he's upgraded eight times, eight times. So I would say at least 70, I would say 76, 77 by the end of the season. And then we've got Johnny Evans, who's not upgraded at all, but he's still a decent rating player anyway. That's I think Evans is actually our highest rated player, if you did not know. Lydia again, um, 75, 72 rating. His overall has up, uh, has gone up five times. So definitely going to try and get this player in our t in my team. And then we've got uh, then we've got Edwards, who's upgraded eight times, 73 rating, 19 years of age. So we've got a decent age gap here. And then we've got it, uh, Itting, 20 years of age, 69 rating. So his rating is a bit slower, but. I think in the end he will be turning out a decent player. Um, I am tempted to get some other players and see how they do, but at the moment we've got a Ting and uh, Fields. And we've got the likes of Hoffman, uh, 78th rating. He is actually our best attacker in the team. Uh, he's the most high, uh, highly rated, and at the moment he's been solid at the moment, getting a few assists. What is just the stats actually? He's played 27 games, 8 goals scored, and 6 assists. What's it in the Premier League? 26 games in the Premier League, 8 goals, and 6 assists. Okay, okay. Um, then we've got the likes of Harris, is also another custom made player. Uh, 64 rating. Bit low, bit unhappy, but I can see why, because he's not really getting much game time. I actually do want... Have, I don't know if I've actually... I don't know if I've put him uh, in a... I was thinking of maybe having him on loan. He's 19, but who knows. His contract expires in five months. What is uh, what is actually... Um, Edwards. Okay, so his contract is also expiring in five months. So we've got a lot of players here, actually, uh, with their contracts expiring in five months. So there's a lot of contract negotiation probably ha going to have to happen soon. Um, again, Fields had his first game, like last game, decent. Uh, and then we got Crawford. There we go. Wait, hold on. How? What is his financial at the moment? I think I've signed him. Yes, I have. So I've got him for five years. Perfect. Uh, made twenty appearances. You get. Uh, oh well, I'll get two hundred and eighty. Uh, okay. And uh, I think I'm at the moment. I think I'm like the high most expensive young player under the age of night under the age of 20 so it's, I'm not 100% sure let me have a look it might I think I think it might have been clerky I think I thought clerky was most highly rated no he's not okay so I, I am actually the most expensive player uh, under the age of night under the age of 20 currently in this team so that's, that's a really good achievement there I've Honestly, I'm fucking have that any day of the week. Um, at the moment, Clerky again have to get his uh, contract sorted. Um, he's been very decent, and I got to say, what's his stats at the moment? 31 games, four and four. Okay, okay, that's that's all right. That's all right for a player of his rating, 71 rating at the age of 19. He, he's he's done all right, but. The one thing is, I uh, the one thing I always expected Clerky to be because out after making these players and everything, I made Clerky the highest rated. Because I thought, why not? And um, at the moment, he's now not the highest rated. I think it's either Crawford or Harris. So that's a bit interesting there. So a bit of Crawford's catched up, and now it's better than him. Um, Bloom again. Arrived from Frankfurt for 1.8 million pounds, and he has been excellent so far. He's 27. He's 71 rating, and by the end of the season, I think he'll at least get like a 74, or 73. And um, if we have, if we have a look at the stats, you can see that his stats is 24, 12, and 2. That's really, really good for a striker of this caliber at the moment. Uh, actually, I didn't show show my stats. What was my stats actually? So we're in okay, we're in okay form. It's still, still 70, 73 rating. By the time these players reach like 82, 82, 84, 
around that margin, this team will be solid. And I think this team will probably be like the best by far. Um, and then we've got likes of Phillips played 13 games recently. He's a bit unhappy. I can see why though, uh, as the other players, the likes of um, Clerky and all that stuff, have been getting more game time. What is his uh, squad role? Squad role is important. I did not know that. When did it ever be important? Okay. So some of the actual squad roles are a bit interesting here. I didn't realise that some of the uh, squad roles like crucial here. I didn't really put a crucial on mine, but I, yeah, for, for the contract I gave to myself, I put crucial because honestly, I don't think anytime so I don't think I'm going to get another winger so anytime soon. Uh, not for left, not for left mid anyway. Um, I do kind of need a backup left mid anyway. Uh, this is why I've got this player at the moment, but I am going to sell him. Um, I'm not really interested in keeping him. In, and his contract length is one year. So I'm definitely going to have to either send him on loan or something. Um, Fields, he's on loan. Um, um, at the moment, his status... Decent player overall, uh, 68 racing, and it, he is 19 years of age actually as well. I thought he was 17, but unfortunately he's not. Um, do 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 do. A ting got lots of ting again on loan. So a lot of my actual players in the starting eleven are on loan. Um, do do do. No longer any more reports. I sent you final report. Uh, for what? For what? For what? For what? Final four. Oh, let me have a look quickly. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure thing, sure thing. Um, so maybe this player could be my backup player. You never know, really, because we've got a load of players here. Uh, let's actually have a look at some of these players. We have a look. We've got these pla this player here. Uh, we've got like of Dembele, not really interested in Dembele. We've got this player who's 21 years of age, might be very, very good. We've got another player here who's 21. So... We've got another player here at the age of 21 as well, so we're kind of looking at young, uh, we're kind of looking at young players that might be really, really good in the future, and that is currently what I'm going for here, um, just in case, because you never know. Some of these young players could be star players on like five years times or something, well, in five in-game year times or something. So, we like sort of like this team, like this team I'm playing with. Uh, Dundee FC doesn't have a lot of money so it's going to be very uh, uh, very hard to actually buy some big big players um, that's my main thing like it's going to be really hard to buy some big players but I think the best like, I think the kind of the one thing I can easily get is goalkeepers goalkeepers are really cheap um, I might try to get Glick soon um, because he's actually he's 30 so he might go down in price um, but who knows but he might, his contract might be really expensive um, so let's head over to the next game we've got our next game is against Liverpool now this is going to be really interesting because Liverpool are actually really really good if you did not know Liverpool at the moment are in the, champ uh, in the ch uh, Champions League and they're against Roma and um, and they're a solid team they're 100% a big team they're really really good I actually got that by the way I actually got that uh, left mid sold he finally went which is really really good monthly scouting update let's have a look at this quickly so we've got a lot of players here might be decent rating might be decent overall uh, we've got a 61 rating overall he's potential 79 though uh, and then we've got potential of 94, so also manly get him. Let's see if we can get maybe somebody else with a good potential. Doesn't look like anyone's got a 90 rating potential, um, which is quite annoying. Um, li li I've got to say, Liverpool are a really big team right now. So we'll have a look at the uh, table as well. Liverpool are currently third. They're currently in third in real life as well. Um, 
And at the top, at the top, I've got to say that the top t uh, four teams at the moment are really close. The one thing I'm quite surprised about is Manchester City. I thought Manchester City would really push for that top four there. Um, but currently it's Everton, Bournemouth, uh, Bournemouth Leicester City and Spurs, uh, West Brom and Dundee FC fighting for the top 10. For the top 20, you've got a lot of teams there. Quite... I thought I've legit thought some of these teams might be a bit higher, a bit better, but unfortunately they're not. So a bit of a surprise. Um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see how this team goes against Liv against Liverpool because um, honestly, it's a decent. The average rating now, the average average rating before was like 65 or something. The average rating now is like 70 plus. So it's good. It's good. Um, the only worry is my goalkeeper. That's the only worry. But by the time I think the one players I've got, the players I've got on loan at the moment are two of my starting players. Two players, two players in my starting eleven are on loan. So it's a bit, a bit odd there. But and then we've got like two players on my bench that are on loan as well. So we're going to see how this game goes. I'm also going to play this game as well, and then we might I might sum a few games uh, just to make this season go a bit quicker, um, so it doesn't last forever. Forever together, forever. What a goal! Well, I got to say, I, this goalkeeper is like 91 rating. So, all right, let's see how well. Done the FC does against Liverpool. All I'm saying is I might get my ass kicked. I also forgot to increase the difficulty. Um, that is a bummer. I think actually this might be a bit of an easier game because I didn't increase the difficulty. So fuck. Oh well. If we win, we win. If they lose, if we lose, we lose. What can you say? So they're on. At the moment, the third place, so he should be decent. Now we need tag, doing well to keep, bo keep the ball. Who is that right winger? I'm wondering who the right, right winger is. Deniji, or Denat, whatever that name is. Could be dangerous. And well. Thing is, one thing um, I will do um, because you actually do get management, you do get uh, a manager offer for teams, and if I get a manager offer for like a big club or something, let me know in the comments below if I should take it because you never know. Uh, what a goal from Henderson though! But yeah, would be like a poll or something, you know, on like Instagram or something, uh, if I should take it or not. From down the FC, and then it was, and then the title would be like changed around or something. Oh, what's that? I can't say Liverpool very strong here today. They've got some. They've done really well to get their first goal. Right, down the FC, down the FC on the attack. Does well. Now, Bloom couldn't find any space to find a pass or a shot. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh my god, the phone's now fucking this, doing this. What the fuck? Well done to Clarkey, almost got the ball there. Roberto Firmino. Down to Mane. Back to Pinto. Down to Mane. Fortunately, didn't get past him. Walked off. Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson's goal. All I'm saying is, I am playing with a goalkeeper that is 61 rating, so they do score an easy goal. It might be because the goalkeeper can't save anything for his life. You know, he has done pretty well recently. Playing through. What a ball. Hoffman does it. Play it across. What a goal. That is why Simon's beast, because he is actually a beast. What a player. 
thing is, the problem with um, likes of Hoffman and uh, Evans is that they actually they are our two most expensive players, and they did actually cost us quite a fair bit of money. Um, I am tempted. I'm tempted to just let Corker um, leave and then maybe bring in a right back and use the money I get from Corker to actually sign the uh, players I've got on loan and maybe some future players as well so yeah it all depends but also I've got to do like contract negotiations and that con like, contracts can be absolute aid but the thing is uh, the money I get from Clocker should be the exact same money I should get for Letea, which is um, uh, what I'm currently hoping for. Um, with the likes of players that I might sell in the future, might sell Hoffman, you never know. Um, let me know down in the comments below who do you think I should sell in the future. Um, but... At the moment, we're just keeping stable, keeping nice, now drawing against Liverpool. We're just doing as much as we can, because at the moment, that's all we can do. We're trying to do as much as we can, get in the, get in the front, get a shot off, see what we can do, and uh, yeah, so let's just keep on going. What a ball, though. Couldn't get it across. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Still, we can make a difference. Still only start of the game as well. Let's see what we can do. Passing has been on point as well, um, I would say. Yeah, let me know if I should get a Ting in the future because he has been solid. A decent midfielder. But I've, I have actually got him on loan. So. We've got Bloom. Unfortunately missed the goal. Could have maybe low driven that, but who knows? Who knows? I'm actually thinking of giving Clerky the number nine shirt. Or I should give Zoom the number nine shirt. Or I don't know. I might buy another striker and just give him the give him number nine. I think our home games are so much more better than our away games. You hear the commentators? What? That's mad. Apparently this team is better than Liverpool. Doubt that for a second. But still, it's very. We've got two teams that are very, very good at the moment and been on top form. Um, who knows realistically what can happen? It's football. Play it down. Down the Crawford. Plays it in. He's, we're now in front. Crawford back on the score sheet again. That's two goals in a matter of two games. That's actually really, really good at the moment just to get that record. Let's see if we can continue this record next season, actually. Uh, because I doubt I'll probably get like top five this season. Who knows actually, I might be able to get top five this season. He is at the moment, that's a fucking classy goal, that is sick. I like goals like that, it's just put him in the bottom corner, tuck him away, nice and crisp, and it's just perfect, it's perfect, perfect goal, perfect goal. Right, let's keep on going. Keep on applying the pressure. Keep on getting that goals in the end. Doing really well. Doing nice here. Nice. Look at that. Perfect ball. Plays it back. Done well. Back to Clerky. Clerky didn't do much there. Still, we're, do we're doing well. We're doing well. Hoffman getting back the ball. Unfortunately, couldn't release it to back back to uh, uh, Clerky. Clarky. Straight in the feet of that defender there, shouldn't have done that. Look at that from Edwards, fantastic. Bloom, just goal draft. I think at the moment, I don't know if Bloom's actually got a goal yet in the last two games. 
really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Good pass straight in the middle there. Down to Bloom. What can Bloom do here? Just hit the surrender. I've got to say, Bloom's finesse shots are very, very good. His shooting's very, very good as well. Um, his shooting's a bit, it's a bit overpowered. No, it's good. It's good shooting. It's good shooting. Right, down to Edwards, who's managed to intercept the ball. Back to Bloom again. Plays down to Hoffman. Hoffman wins back the ball. Plays it back to Bloom. Hits the defender. Wow. I honestly thought he had that then, but no, it hits the defender. I've got to say, decent so far. Nothing too big. That's the thing. Nothing too big. Liverpool can still get back into the game just by scoring a simple, quick, easy goal. That's one thing they can always do. Score an easy goal. Um, and that's the problem. That's my, that's my main worry with Liverpool right now is that they're such a solid side where they can easily get a ball back, uh, the game back. Um, let's have a look at the team though. Let's have a look at the team. We've got likes of Fer uh, Harris, which I don't know if he can play left mid. No, he can't. But I am going to maybe play left. Uh, let him play left mid for a couple of minutes. Um, we've got likes of the Tears, German or stuff. Um, 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 this formation's done really well. I honestly think it's, it's been a solid formation. I was going for the 424, but I don't know what I did with that. Why did I not do that? I think that might have been a bit more attack prowess or something, but I don't know. Right, um, Hoffman stops, brings it back. Couldn't couldn't keep hold of the ball. So the only attack. And still make a difference here. Well done to Latia, just just getting the ball, stopping the ball in its tracks. Doing nicely, yeah. Right, can we use the pace? Bloom. Can't get past the defender there, done really well. Clerky, left foot. Ooh, Jesus. Difference that could have been. Nice interception, lovely there. Down the Clarky. Clarky finishes it. Finishes it. Just hits the defender. Can intercept. Keep on the ball. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that ball, that's a solid ball, that. Unfortunately, couldn't hold it. Nice interception from Harris. Play it up, nice, simple. Don't know if you can hear the bus, actually. I have got my window open. Uh, poor pass from the clerk in there, that's, that's poor. Don't you just love football and it's unpredictable. Oh my god. Because the weaker brethren, shall we say, are certainly not weaker here. They're winning the game and doing it in some style. Aren't they just starting to come out here? They thought we're going to show you. Everybody expects us to lose, but we're not having that. And they haven't had it. I like how the commentators like. They fucking say so much shit, don't they? Oh my god. I don't think we've like had a pass solid pass yet. Done well with the passes there. Back to a Ting, done really well. A ting done really well there. Plays it back. Sees the opportunity. Oof. Carius just really keeping them in there. Done really well. Unfortunately, Liverpool can't seem to get a uh, passes midfield. I've got to say the midfield has been solid. 
Uh, let's put a ting off and field on and Harris off for Crawford just to keep that midfield solid. Um, I'm tempted to maybe bring it off the left back just with another left back, but who knows? Uh, let's see what this goes and see how this works. Uh, I'll see this change. Let's see what is different here. Harris almost got there. Down the field. What can Phil do here? Play it back. Play up. Field can't do much. Can't do much. Well done to the He's intercepting that. The pace on this kid. Holy shit. It does well. Gets in the front. Unfortunately, does not score. That's really, really close, though. What foot is this kid on, actually? Hold on. Uh, let me have a look. I think he might be like right foot or something. Nice no, left foot. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Uh, this time I will use his left foot instead of his right foot. Almost getting a goal there from Clarker. Corker, whatever you want to fucking say. Let's see if we can get an uh, in, just an insect in this tunnel. Nice. Throw. Just keeps up that pressure. Right, like, got the ball. See what we can do. Play it up. Can't get past Van Dyke. Uh, I think realistically we can just keep on passing and just play it out here. Salah on the ball. He's up. He's done well. Got past left back. Plays it up. Can't get past Harris. This Harris is like a six foot six giant. Uh, done well to cope with the ball. Oh, what a ball to Hoffman. That's a very, very good ball there. Done well. Down field. Can field make a difference? Unfortunately not. And well to get past the shine to Liverpool play in these kinds of attacks. Only partially away from danger. Lalana. Now Van Dijk. Space to cross the ball now. Done well. Good save at the moment. A bit of a weak shot realistically from Liverpool. Just applying the pressure to Roberto Firmino. Clerky making a good run for Harris. Does well, get past one. Back to Clerky. Does the whole team, does the whole team. Almost, almost got a goal there. But now it's a penalty. Holy cow. What? What? That is mad. Alright, let's put this left back on just for the left back. Keep that fitness up for that left hand side. But wow, what? That is insane. That is, ins that is an insane uh, tackle there. Don't know why Hoffman's taking this. Has he got like, the best penalty or something? Hold on, let me have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Um, let's go like there or something. Oh, the keeper saves it. I swear penalties are rigged anyway, like you go anywhere and they'll just save it. Back to field. Field does really well there. Oh, it does really well. Unfortunately, couldn't get past that defender. If you got past that defender, might have let field have a bit of a cracker. You never know what might happen. Might release a cannonball, which would, would have been like the best goal of the season or something. Down to... Uh, Harris, I saw the uh, right back. Oh no, that's not even the right back. I saw Hoffman making a good run, but I didn't see that, uh, unfortunately. One more down to field. What can Field do here? Sees Clerky or Clerky or whatever. Fuck, it's like quick names. Quick mess. Bit of a poor shot there. Inception. Well, it's gone. 
Oh, literally just getting blocked by that left back there. So we won that game 2 1. Really good comeback just for that, to get those two goals. Well done to my, I think it was myself who got that goal actually. Who was it? Yeah, it was, it was Hoffman and myself. Let's have a look at Hoffman's goal, see how well this was. Well, let's see what it was. Uh, it was a low driven shot, by the way. Really good. Really, really good. I do rate those low, low, uh, low, uh, low, uh, low driven shots. So we've got Crofts there. Finesses it, bottom corner. Easy as it can be. There we go. So, decent overall. Like, really, man, the match goes to myself. If it goes to myself, I'm happy with that. Um, really good. I 100% think the likes of Crawford, Latir, Iting, all making big differences in the game uh, and during the game. And at the moment, we are still at 10th. We are one point behind West Brom. So very, very close. Very close. Uh, so we've got Gibbon, Lafont. We've got these players here that we are currently looking out and looking maybe to loan in. Um, the problem is, the problem is I have with the left wing position, which I don't know if I've mentioned yet, is that because, uh, myself is 19, he is a, is a young, young prospect, I'm under the age of 20, um, so looking for a spare left mid that might do almost the same as myself, but maybe not too much. I don't know, just keep that level going with the uh, left mid position to keep the fitness up. Um, I actually don't have a proper left mid, which is the thing. So, I'm just thinking, I'm looking at, I'm, I want to have a look at my uh, transfer budget. So it's 90, 96k. So I'm putting this. Put this in 50-50. 50, 50. There we go. Um, Alright, so let's just go in here. Do you have a Yeah. Um, so Thierry Ambrose is only 70 rated. He was in. He's been in some, he's been in that club since 2014. I swear that he used to be in like um, Man City. Bobby Wood, I know actually the one thing I know about Bobby Wood, he's got a 75 rating card, so I might try to get him maybe. So we've got uh, Dikembe, 74 rating, value of seven million pounds. Um, Let's have a look at the moment. Let's see what we can get maybe. Tiam Yambriam might get him. At the moment it's just might might get this player, might get that player. Um actually let's have a look. See what this player is going for. Um, thing is, I might get this like left mid that's down here. Seventy rating, twenty-two years of age, nothing big, but it's seventy rating. That's the thing. Seventy rating. Um, we found a lot of right wingers. Uh, this is the player I was talking about earlier. Ajax. He is in Ajax. Casper Dolberg. Value £30 million. Overall 78. And he's only age of 20. So that's very, very, very good there. Um, also, I'm going to... Okay, I've actually got on the shortlist. He's actually very, very good. Both these players. Look at this. 
75 rating, value 6.5. Uh, the one thing I've found out actually about this player, this cam, uh, that's what I got told anyway. So I might just buy him anyway, and just because he's so cheap at the moment, 6.5 in value. Um, so I might just get him because he's cheap. Good midfielder, realistically. Uh, we've got cocaine spurs. Oh well. Oh wow. Um. Right. Let me just go back out. The one thing, the one thing, we're playing against Brighton. You know what? I'm going to sim this game. I'm going to sim this game. Playing against Brighton. See how this, how this, see how well this team does without me playing it. So they win 3 0. Fucking, that's pretty much typical bullshit when you don't fully play the fucking games. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll be realistically playing as much games as Six anymore now, but. Let's see how well Sim does without me playing it. I actually went on like half a season. Well, went on for like a few weeks without playing any of the games. Um, four months report. Sent it forward, 47 rating. The most likely player that I'm most likely, most likely player about to get is probably Elliot Harris if he keeps on going up. Um, Right, let's play another game without me playing. Player of the month, West Brom Sturridge. All right, see what's team. See this team. Uh, see what this team can do. Two one, bang bang. There we go. Beat West Brom. Uh, West Ham, not West Brom. Lol. Leicester City, City 2, Bournemouth, Bournemouth 1. So, Manchester City, City 1, Chelsea, Chelsea 2, Southampton, Southampton stuff. 1, Dunn, finished, sorted. Dundee and now moved up to 8th place, by the way. That's really, really good. At the top of the table remain Manchester United. Crawford now, 74 rating. The chair actually. Uh, 73. Phillips, 69. This next game is like a big game. Like... Okay, no, it's only Huddersfield. Still a good team, but... Like... If we just beat West Ham... I think West Ham beat... Um, Huddersfield the other week... The other day. Alright, team looks solid, six sorted. Again, this next thing. Been, I think I've been like recording like an hour now. Oh, they actually won this. Uh, wow, okay. Alright, fuck you, yeah. Chance for Buffalo Fort, James Pike. Southampton Southampton two. Two. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to accept this anyway because I need right to like get as much of these unwanted players out as much as I can. But the problem is, the main problem is, is that they don't want to leave the Premier League. At the top of the table remain Manchester United with 64 points. Like you look at, you look at some of the stuff they rejected. I've, they've rejected two teams that are offering me 416 thousand pounds thousand pounds for one player and now like this happened actually with another player um i had this one player that wouldn't fucking go and then the one time he does go um like the one one time he does go he, his I think his transfer fee went down from like 100k, from like I think his transfer fee went down by like 100k or something. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly, finishing mid table is actually really, really good. Like, I actually rate that. Harris, 66 rated now. Which big team are we playing against? Southampton. So, the team I've actually picked to manage internationally is Bolivia. And majority of their players are like 30, 27 and stuff. Except from one of the players from Bolivia is actually Ed Clarkey, which is actually in my team, if you did not know. So yeah. And I think Ed Clarkey is actually the best player. Oh no, we've got Mertens, but still, Ed Clarkey is probably like still the best player in this team. So... Yeah, fuck them all. Mill wool, fuck them all. So, let's have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. Um, 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 um. 60 feet. Potential of 60, 83. Uh, let's see if this person maybe could be a difference. You never know. See if this person can maybe be a difference. You never know. Uh, that's it. Let's have phrase about the uh, team. Go with Southampton. Southampton can easily beat this team. I think they will beat this team actually. Thinking about it, I honestly think they might. Beat this team. Will they beat this team? Are they going to beat this team? Who knows? Find out after this. Players warming up. And they beat this team. Remond getting a goal. Remond's actually pretty decent. If you did not know, Remond's actually One very, very good. West West two. Two. Actually, I actually nil. think Raymond might be One. really good. Do you see what I mean? Two. Raymond's. Crystal James McPack's trench offer. As talks have broken Arsenal down. Two. I'm not surprised because he Liverpool was just staying in the Premier League. League. The problem is he won't be playing in the fucking Premier Manchester League because City I won't four. give him any games right because you know why? Because he's one. not good enough. Stoke City, City one. One. Everton, Everton, nil. Nil. Let's, Let's see, see what, what that, that means, means for the league, league tables. tables. Right. So we've got Netherlands playing as Bolivia. We've got Netherlands right now. Um, honestly, I think this is probably the best team I can actually come up with. Yep. <laughs> Who's the striker? The best goal, best, best player. I'm quite, I'm quite annoyed actually. I thought Bolivia might have like a really, di like really good skill, like skill team or something. But they don't. And they won 3 0. I'm not really quite surprised. And we've got. I think it was Cameroon? Cameroon? I think that was Cameroon? Is it Cameroon? Yeah, it's Cameroon. No, oh, I know my geography. T1. What a guess, though. Thinking of that, it's Cameroon. Um, I have actually got Fallout 4 downloaded again, um, so I might be playing Fallout 4 uh, sometime soon. Um, right now, currently playing Manchester United. Oi, ooh. Looking like the team. They've got a decent team. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the biggest game so far. Is everyone good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Recent arrival from Spurs might get him. He's got some map pace. Um, you know what? 
he might be decent. Thing is, uh, I don't want to really buy like old players. I want to try and get maybe some like young ones and stuff. But you never know. You might find I might find a player, old player that might be really decent. Might get some good goals. <laughs> oh, actually, just spotted a certain someone. He might be decent. I might. Okay, no, he's sitting on me. I might sign him. Um, right now, uh, I honestly think this team has got really good potential to be one of the greatest teams by far. But let's see. Never playing against Manchester United. Now, Manchester United, if we have a look at the table, they're on top of the table by 70 points, which is insane. 70 fucking points. So. If we beat Manchester United, I would question fucking FIFA. But if we don't bet if we don't win against Manchester United, then I won't be questioning FIFA. But we are. I am gonna actually play this game because I want to. Um, game settings. World class. Yeah. Right. Let's see if I can beat this team. I doubt I will. But let's see. Thing is, uh, because I haven't been actually playing these players, uh, the form has probably gone down. So, like Soft Joshua Crawford might not be as great. But who knows? Who knows? He might be Hi the there, best player in this game by I'm far. So, me, let's see who can make a difference. Dundee FC on Manchester United. Let's see. They got Kadrado in the team. I would actually just just look at this like, line up and stuff. Like, oh God. And some of the visitors have been able to come away with points which uh, they would never have expected to get in the past. Yeah, maybe the fear factor has diminished. And it's the manager that's it. Oh shit, I'm scored already. There was a poor pass there. We've got Jesse Lingard and Zlatan up top. Quadrado. In midfield, they've got it back by an interception. Not wanted. I'm going. Kind of clerky. Clerky, clerky cross. Bang! With uh, all I'm saying right now is we keep up pressure. We keep, we're keeping up the pressure. We're keeping up pressure. Like the Crawford, keeping up pressure. Like a balloon, keeping up pressure. I like. I like it when the teams really work well. Bang, Crawford. Max Crawford, look at that, passing, 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 down, really, nothing, nothing, wow, okay, that was legit nothing, I'd expected more there, but, unfortunately, no, that's just John, who didn't know, oh, uh, uh, wow, Johnny Evans just outdid, uh, the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Hey, here we go. Crawford in the box. Crawford. Oh, what a save on. Who is that? Who is that? Not Romero, is it? Did they seriously play Romero instead of De Gea? Yeah, they did. Why? Um, I honestly think they might have played like their weakest team right now. 
against this team. Okay, I'm seriously gonna fucking win here. I'm gonna win. Watch me win. You know why? Because they played the weakest team. Oh, what a movement from fucking a team then. He did that defender. Alright, on the attack. Position. Jesse Lingdorf, fuck off. Oh my gosh. Quadrado. Wow. Defended well. Alright. Hang out. Spotted that well. Very poor pass there. What a tackle. He went in well. Manchester United very strong favourites for this one. Plays it. Oh, he almost got probably the one of the best through balls I've seen by far like by this team. That would have been very, very good. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Alright, calm down, Harry. Thing with uh, my right back, Harris, he's a bit of a. He's a bit of a. What I would say, a kind of a Sergio Ramos kind of player esque. Uh, that's why I kind of uh, got him. To be yeah, like, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? He seems to be doing really well as a right back. Um, I think you know as a right back. Bang! He's off. Oh my god! Oh my Now Lingard. Well done from Crawford there to just get that tackling. What a ball. Eight wins in a row. Fuck me. Hell. Hoffman almost got in the goal. Bang it in. Oi, Johnny Evans. Get those headers in. Come on. No. For Manchester United standards, uh, being top of the table, not even losing fucking one game in eight games is fucking insane. But still, that's not Manchester Oh well, Clerky getting it. the ball, doing really well. Alright, that was a poor touch. Come on. Come on, Evans. Straight done it. Alright. Thing is, one shot from Manchester United, probably going to go in. The main reason is that one's the last time fucking scores legit every goal he's shot. But two, uh, my goalkeeper is 61 rating. That's really a free kick. Come on, come on. Come on. Get the ball. Good position. Yeah, absolutely well. done, Harris. But crosses it. The tear is just there. Really cleaning up. Really, there's nothing big. Moving up. Well, maybe the counter attack is Manchester United. Nothing really here. Okay, there we go. Found something. Keep hold the ball. Pen. Uh, what? 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 Nah. Clarky. What? How's that not a pen? EA. EA. You're retired. You look like you're just retired. Can't say much about that. They're just retired. Can you get past them? No, you can't. That right back just seems to be a bit too quick. Well, halfway through, 
it's all right at the moment against the best team in the Premier League at the moment. Like we've had some chances and stuff, and they've rarely done much. If we have a look at the match facts, match facts. Uh, as you can see, they've only taken one shot. So defensively, it's been very, very good. But attackingly, it's been very, very good as well. Um, because we're just we're just forcing the ball up there. We're not really defending as much. We're more only passing it around in their opposition. Which is really, really good. Manchester and United. kind of I've won and kind of what I want in this team at the moment. Um, this is be a bit attacking. Get keep possession. Just in that in their half. Keep it nice simple. Nice. Yeah. That's the second shot in the game. Right, that was straight into Scepters. Right, tackle from Hoffman, really good. Hoffman, almost getting a goal. Romero keeping them in. Um, class at the moment from Romero, quite surprising. He is actually playing though because they have got De Gea. Unless De Gea has gone. I don't know. Has De Gea gone? He might have gone. Look back in my live streams and find out. Clerky. Just getting an opportunity and not scoring but still doing bits. Done well. Down to Crawford. Crawford does one. Does two, couldn't get past the third one. Third one was also like I think was the right way. Too many, too many people there. Oh, it's by Pogba as well. So. Fuck you, Pogba. Nice inception. That was a poor pass. Poor pass. Ibrahimovic is at the top. Jesus. Jesse Lingard's off. For, I don't know who they put on. Who do they put on actually? If it's Rashford or something, then yeah, we're kind of fucked realistically. Because Rashford's really good. Doesn't say. See, that's not where I wanted. That's not what I wanted, that. That's fucking retarded. Stephen yeah. Steven Kolka. Keep on that tackle, that's good then. It's good defensive work. Bill Jones. Bloom almost getting the ball back again. Well done to Hoffman getting the ball back twice in a row there. Reminder of the next game for the visiting team in the Premier League is this. Join us on EA Sports. And uh, Herrera. Don Wilson set. Oh, he's only gone a fucking run off the pitch. Fuck's sake. Manchester United want to make a change now. Game is so fucking shit. Oh, I don't want to intercept from clear. Could be dangerous. Could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Lost the ball. It's a poor touch. Ah, I tried crossing that. Cross it now. Delivered into the box. Good, good defensive, defensive clearance, clearance there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Got the ball. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, not being able to get the ball there. They've got a chance here. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Doing some nice passing. Unfortunately lost it's way too easy, way too easy to lose it there. Crawford, he's got the ball. Trying to catch the player in possession. Catch him off. 
Go. That's a good ball. That's a great ball from Crawford. Can he hold him back? He can hold him back. Down to Clarkey. Clarkey. Straight at the keeper, man. Play it across goal. Oh, that's annoying. That's very, very annoying. Five star weak foot as well. I expected better, but. What can you say, really? Down to Edwards. Edwards. No, nothing there. Stephen Colker. Nothing there. Down to Crawford. Gets tackled instantly. His head is legit in the ground. That's good passing actually there. That's really good. Down to Hoffman. Just intercepted by Blind. Just really making a difference there for um, Manchester United. Come on. Let's see if we can get like a 90th minute goal or something. Come on, let's see what we can get here. Plays it up. Making a difference. See Hoffman. Bloom with a super pass again. Still, got the ball. Oh, I just lost it. Got it back. Alright, this is this is it, this is it. Bang it. Oh, that's way too slow. Fuck. Way too slow. Johnny Evans intercepting the ball again. Harris almost lost it there. 88th minute. No movement for the midfield. Come on, midfielders. Keep on aiming it up. Edwards, keep on running with it. Nice. Play it up. What can Crawford do here? Gets instantly pushed off the ball. Referee, can you not fucking pull, blow the ref whistle just for fucking... Dickhead! Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. I'm actually getting knackered. Don't know why. Uh, just, I gotta say, EA sort out the goalkeepers sometimes because they, they are completely fucking OP. Arsenal, Arsenal 2, Stoke City, 0. Brighton and Hove Albion, 1, Leicester City, 0. Oh, that's fucking retarded. Crystal Palace, 2, Newcastle United, 0. Right winger, Huddersfield Town, 1, no. Watford, 2, um, no. West Bromwich Albion, 1, Harris just, I'll take him because he is younger than the two players that I just released. At the, At the top, top of the table, table remains Play United injured, it'll be out for five days. Ah, oh, thank in God it's only for five days, though. In third, climbing the table are Liverpool with 58 points. Right, um... Let's have a look. Harris. Let's see if we can, uh... Level... Let's see if we can get his overall up. Um... What time is it now? 1940. Uh, I think I'm going to end the live stream here. Um, just because um, it's coming up to league games very, very soon. Um, I normally have league games. Like, If you don't know what I do, is I play league games on Pro Clubs and stuff. And basically I play that. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I do get, a, do get a lot of decent goals and stuff. It's really fun. 100% I would recommend doing it if you're a FIFA player. Um, our next game is against West Brom, who are, I think, sixth, they're sixth on the table. Um, decent team. But at the moment, from a plan at the moment, Crawford won't be able to play for this, I don't think. Nope. Uh, can Hoffman play left mid? That's my main thing. Can play left mid. Right, he's playing left mid, and uh, we're gonna put Harris at right mid there, and then we're gonna pick off Crawford for Harris and put Crawford there. A lot of Harris's. Why is there so many Harris? Well, Harris, ha we've got another Harris. There's only two Harris, but still, there's Harris. It's annoying. Now I've got two Harris. 
Um, okay. So, we're going to play my other goalkeeper just for this game. See how uh, well he does. Um, so far, Hoffman's now 89, 79 racing, sorry. So he's now the same racing as Evans. So those, these two, Evans, Johnny Evans and Hoffman are the two best players in my team. Uh, with the likes of Letier, good, decent player, 73 racing. One thing that I have actually realised is all my players, except from one in my starting 11, is above 70 rating, which is very, very good. Bloom only being a 71 rating hasn't gone up at all. Uh, I know Harris is there, but normally I would have Crawford, so I'm trying to think of Crawford instead of um, Harris at the moment. But Harris has gone up very well. He's gone from 64 rating to 67. So he's definitely going up very, very quickly. We've got likes of Edwards, now 75 rating. So we've got at least, uh, technically, he is now a gold player if he was on ultimate team. Um, and all these players, I think Harris has gone up from being a bronze player to a silver player. And then we've got silver player, silver player, gold, uh, silver, gold, silver, silver, bronze. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty uh, silver and gold team with one bronze. Um, I've got to say, at the moment, that's been very, very good. I am going to put Phillips on, actually. N n no, because I don't have Crawford. I don't want... I don't think I'm going to put Phillips on. Uh, thing with this team, if I'm going to go with five at the back, I will probably have to sacrifice sacrifice a ting for Clerky because Clerky is a much more higher rating. And that's why I thought, unless I sacrifice Clerky and um, it all depends on what happens. If I maybe go for like a 44, I'll probably have to buy, uh, I'll probably might have to buy a much more faster midfielder and probably uh, a fill, uh, maybe have like a ting as my backup midfielder. I've got fielder now at 60, 69 rating. Thing is, uh, likes of field and a ting and all that stuff. If field does become like a 70 rated player, um, field would actually be in my starting 11 instead of a ting. So it's, just because I want to put my best players in my starting eleven. Um, I know that Crawford is off, but just looking at his fitness, I will keep Crawford off for this one game. And looking, just looking at a team, it looks decent. Um, I am thinking of bringing in a player called Cliver. He's a right winger. A yeah, good backup uh, player as well, with the likes of Hoffman only being like t 26. Um, or 25. Thing is, with likes of Hoffman, I will probably send them in the future just to get more money, to get more young stars in this team. Uh, the main thing I'm trying to get young stars is that I can progress them up to a big player, and um, then after bringing them in, after like what, give them like a year, and they give they'll be like a goal player instantly or something. Don't know, but the player I'm talking about is already, I think, a. Um, Gold player, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, thing with the goalkeeper at the moment, I don't think I really need to find another goalkeeper. I might find another goalkeeper, but at the moment, I've got my, um, I've got one of my, my academy players playing as got as my starting goalkeeper. But the problem is he's been injured recently, which sucks. But I am bringing I am bringing in someone like maybe this player, for instance. 27, I'm decent, or at least 81. If he's 81 rating, that'd be a blast to use him. Um, and then we've got like Wood 75. Then we've got like Origi. So at the moment, because Balloon is only 70, 71 rating, I might just bring in another striker just in case. A striker that's probably a bit better than him. The likes of maybe like 60. I have Bloom as my backup striker probably. He's an, I don't think he's actually scored a game yet. That's a problem. I don't think he's scored any games. At, uh, I don't think he's scored at the moment. We have a look at. Hold on. Let me have a look at the uh, table. The player table. So top goal scorers. Um, the likes of Bloom. He's gone down to fifth place. He's only got 13 goals. I think he's been on 13 goals for quite a while now. Uh, with the likes of 
one player, Crawford, gone down to 23rd. He's got eight goals. A lot of players with eight goals. He's under Salah with eight goals as well. I thought he'd be like one of the top, top goal scorers. Vardy with nine. Ali with eight, uh, nine. Sané with nine. Um... I think I bet you like some of these players haven't really played as much games as likes of me or something. I don't know, but I think I might end the live stream here just because I do have league games very very soon and I need to get on pro clubs right now. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I have had I've had a lot of decent uh, stuff. I need like like this has been solid so far. This whole career mode at the moment, likes of Hoffman and. Evans and stuff, and I've got a plan. I've got a plan for this team. But at the moment, I just need to exploit that plan and just use it. And uh, at the moment, uh, with the like stuff, if I do sell Hoffman, I will, and uh, I will probably have to use Harris for, like one a few, for a few games, um, and all that stuff. So, all depends. The thing is, my only worry is that one, if one of my big stars like Crawford or Clerky or Edwards or Evans or Clorca or Latier, any of my top, top best players at the moment get injured, I am going to be really screwed. And uh, I don't really have full, like, I don't actually have, like, the best players to, like, really give them that spot. Like, but who knows? Let me know in com down. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think about this team and what I should improve on in such a low transfer rate uh, budget. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and do subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check out my other live streams as well, just because you might like them. And uh, yeah, see you next time.